welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Morrell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. But today's video comes with a huge caveat. I can't actually believe I'm about to show you this, but it's probably the rawest footage and the most real footage you will ever see because we, it is from an online Zoom styling session with the same client that I styled last week on the channel. So that was the gorgeous, lovely Ellie. And before I styled Ellie on the channel, I had actually met her as a genuine client who came to me for an online Zoom session. And she asked for that session to be recorded, so we did so. She's now allowing me to play that recording to you. But, first of all, I had been very under the weather, so I'm a little bit nasally, a little bit sort of snotty, so I do apologise. I'm wearing a bright pink hat throughout it all because my heating had broken here in the studio. And Ellie said, if she'd have known that she was going to be going out to the nation with this, she would have tidied her bedroom, she would have put some makeup on. So it's probably the rawest footage that you're going to see really because I can't edit any of that out, otherwise there'd be nothing left to show you. So I'm hoping what today's video does show you is how relaxed an online styling session is. You know, I'm usually just sitting there in my jeans and my t-shirt. Every styling session is a little bit different depending on what the client does want. But Ellie in particular wanted me to understand her body shape and find some silhouettes that were going to work well for her. Now all I had to work with is the clothes that Ellie had in her wardrobe, but you'll see how the process goes through that I'm able to ask her for certain pieces and create outfits from her own wardrobe. So. I hope you enjoy. Please be kind in the comments. I think it's awfully brave of Ellie to allow me to put this out there for everybody to see. The audio isn't going to be great because it was over Zoom. Sometimes the shot might flicker around a little bit because every time I talk, it focuses on me. Every time Ellie talks, the Zoom camera goes on her. So that's why you'll see a lot of me on there just talking in my pink bobbly hat because I'm explaining to Ellie the process and that's how Zoom works. So enjoy. And if anybody does want a styling session, then all you need to do is go online and book either myself or Claire. And I think I'm going to put another couple of the girls on there as well because we're getting so busy at the moment. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I feel a little bit scared. Let me know in the comments whether you like it or not. Bye. I'm dressing to, um, to look the slimmest I can or to hide. I'm not dressing for expression. What is stopping you from being expressionate? Is it the lack of choice in your sizes? Is it embarrassed to wear those things? Is it, I don't need to wear that sort of thing for my lifestyle? It's more, I don't know where to shop and how to get it. And I don't, and I don't wanna, I found myself just not wanting to go and try on bottoms because they're yeah. always so disappointing. There's, it's so unfruitful trying on trousers. Yeah. But I tend not to be bothered or I buy things and then I'll send them back. And then, mm -hmm. I then I'm still back in skinny jeans. Yeah. You, when you do try on a pair of trousers, do you then make up the entire outfit before you make an assumption? Or do you try on, try on the trousers and then go, oh, no, they look awful. You've got your socks on and you've got your tracksuit top on or whatever. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And mo mo most people do that. And what I'm trying to... In the Style Academy, actually, we're teaching this in a more predominant way at the moment. And I think I'm going to do a whole YouTube video actually on it. And that is, we've all, myself over the years included, got obsessed with what shape does one fit into, apple shape, pear shaped, whatever. So let's take your... Let's take your pear-shaped lady, for example. All she is focusing, because she knows she's a pear, she just wants to minimise those thighs. That's what she's focused on. So every pair of trousers she buys, every dress she buys, the focus on, is it going to reduce my thighs? Okay. Mm. She could then find that perfect pair of trousers that reduces her thighs. She's still going to look exactly the same size in those trousers unless she balances out on top. OK, yeah. so what people are doing is they're focusing on the wrong part. If yeah. your larger part, the part you want to disguise is your bottom area or your stomach, 
you need to focus on the other areas in making them larger than that, the hips, or equal yeah. to the hips, then everything as a whole picture will look smaller. It's always about get that. balance. It's never just about hiding your thighs. That will mm. not work. So just bear that in mind as we start to go along a little mm. bit. And I love yeah. your jewellery that you've got on as well. Am I looking at Monica Vinader there? You are. You are. Yeah. I laughed in your videos when you said, because I've called her Vinyada forever. Yeah, they told me just to keep remembering vinegar. That, yes! That's how you say it. Vinegar, vinegar. Yeah. Trainers, yeah. Um, where your lifestyle is at, or do you need to elevate that to like a I'd like a to loafer elevate or... it. I've never worn a loafer. As I've gotten older, my ankles have got wider. Yeah. I like That'll... my the ankle bit, but I've I'm always a bit conscious of it, particularly in tight jeans and at the end of the day when my ankles are bigger. Yeah, that, I think the tight jeans will make your ankles look bigger. So if we go yeah. slightly wider, it might just be like a the straight leg on you, I'd imagine that we would use, is essentially like a, a, a skinny up to the knee and then just goes a little bit straighter so it just doesn't form around the calf as much yeah there's not much breadth other than that okay because um, i've got big calves yeah, i've we'll got strong see. legs okay so that's at home is that the same attire for your so class like a black dress either like with thin straps and sort of like something quite simple here but then yeah. flowing out yes that yeah suits me nicely yeah denim jacket white and trainers but I feel like I I kind of want to get I've got a few safe silhouettes and then I'm then I'm stuck okay all right so can we start by having a look at your 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 figure oh you've got a lovely curvy you definitely could do modeling wow oh, You've got a really good butt as well. And Thank you. It's high. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's... I'd like this to be smaller. That would be my my preference and that. But no, yeah. but it's that that no, oh, that's that's I could definitely, definitely, definitely use you for modeling. And as I've got oh my also, goodness, you go you go well, in got... massively under your bust. Well, I've got a bit, so I do a lot of gym. But yeah. I'm finding that I'm going a bit like this, and my boobs are getting a bit smaller, and I don't quite have the but no, you've got a lovely shape. Your boobs are in exactly the right place as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sometimes, I'm, also, sometimes I'm trying to pick them. Okay. I've yeah. got a lot. Right. I've got a lot here. You can say you've got a lot there. I, you're curvy there, but your curves are in the right place. Yeah. So if you had the bust that you had and the thighs that you've got without the rounding across the bottom, you wouldn't look right. So you, you're you're no. forming, you would have been an hourglass. Yes, I, I used you. to be. Yeah. I used to be. And then yeah. now I've got more here. Yes, this that, is, that's normal I'm, though. I'm starting to get a bit of that. So that I notice on your shoulders, first of all, yeah. is what we don't, what we don't want to do is because you're quite rounded here in your figure. Yes. Um, so your arms are quite so I can see you've got muscle there but what I want to do is create a stronger starting point here more angle okay. because at the moment you've got lovely round bosom you've got a round bottom yeah that's yeah. it and it's all and I notice in tops I'm just all slopey yeah so I want to create some strength and some structure and some angles that's going to make a huge difference and the starting place there is going to be on your shoulder blades definitely all you need to do I bet you I could get you looking size smaller straight away yeah I just put in some strong shoulder pads in there by okay. a round neck or a lower neck top I don't want to go yeah. too high on your neckline because if I do it's going to make your um, bust look big yeah. And I want to make sure that I can see right underneath that bit there on the bust. And the thing is, as well, is that as my belly's gotten bigger, I don't like drawing attention to it because I I don't want anything touching it. So I've gone big and then skinny on the legs. That's been the old silhouette. And it, that doesn't work. See yourself in a mirror at all anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Have a look at yourself in a mirror and really sort of be kind, be kind to yourself, but look, look at yourself genuinely in terms of, so I'm seeing that lovely bust line and I'm, go, I'm going right and in underneath that bust, okay? Yeah. Um, I can see a little bit of a belly just at the very front. I can't see the belly at the side. What that tells me is that you are not, definitely not an apple shape. So okay. an apple shape would have that thickness all around that middle bit. You've yeah. just got a little bit of 
extra, yeah. you know, mum weight, menopausal weight, whatever, yeah. which we all get right there yeah. at, the, at the front bit. OK, yeah. So if we what we don't want to do is make you conscious of that area, but I can skim over that front area, but still bring you in under so, your butt. So that kind of that would have been my old style of, you know, like, quite like that kind of. Yeah, that sort of thing as well. Star too. Yeah. So that that's such a classic. Just. Capri trousers, that's like your styling 101 that yeah. works on absolutely everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's interesting, though, because that is a beautiful classic style. But from what I was getting from you from earlier on, you might have a little bit more than I that. I have, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, but it might be worth us finding a few foundation shapes first of all in more classic styles and then yeah. once we've got that in place we can then start to branch out and be a little bit more daring what we're going to do we're going to find a silhouette first of all that you're comfortable with so okay. we can do that by um, having a look at some of your own clothes and how they fit so having a bit of sure. a play initially okay. so what I would suggest is putting on something that creates a thought process with you I hate what I look like in this I love these trousers but I haven't got a clue what to wear with them you know you want to show me for negative okay. or positive reasons this is what I end up wearing in the summer and also that's the other thing in the summer I get really stuck because I don't want to show too much the, the summer is is harder but in in other ways it's easier because I just find you one piece outfits so yeah. that perfect summer dress but for you that perfect summer dress might have some strength in the shoulder for example without having to wear a jacket yes okay, yeah because, okay yeah so that would normally be ironed yeah, so know, but that for me it cuts there doesn't it which is not the most flattering well, so so this is what this is the the aim of this part now where we play around because we'll play around okay. with different lengths of jackets to find which one is going to be right. But just to warn you, often it's with this style of the dress, it is this jacket, but with this yes. style of trouser, you can get away with a longer one. There's a lot of ifs and buts. Oh, okay. But what okay. I'm doing all the time is as we're talking, I'm writing notes down to be able to summarize this for you. So that you do end up with a bit of a a, a style okay. change, really. I like this. Yeah. But then I don't, then I get, then I just, I can't wear a denim jacket over everything. Yeah. And I don't really like the way it looks from the side there, because actually it just goes right out of the boobs. So first of all, in terms of the denim jacket, if you went one size higher, but a slightly yeah. different cut, it's going to come lower at the back so you probably okay. see how it's sitting on the shelf of your bottom yeah so you probably want it another two and a half three inches longer in that dress as it yeah. is right now compared to a few minutes ago when you had a tight tank top on and tight jeans you've probably gained an extra dress size in that dress okay Ugh. yeah so we do not need to hide your figure yeah, what we okay. need to do is put you in slimmer fitting clothes that you're comfortable in. That's the key. Yeah. So let's have a look what else we've got in your wardrobe that is in some way tighter fitting or even shows a bit more flesh. It might be your ankles. I know you don't like your ankles, but I'm, I want to see what fits your shape better, first of all. That t-shirt looks okay. lovely on you. Yeah. So Start about... by, have you got some shoulder pads? No. Okay, we definitely need some shoulder pads. So have you got some uh, a small pair of socks? So I'm looking at you from behind right now. Yeah. And honestly, you've dropped a dress size from that dress you were wearing. Oh my goodness. And that dress is the one that I feel comfortable in. Isn't that ridiculous? But that's what so I've you been probably doing. feel comfortable in it because it's hiding you and the lead and <laughs> the and and the jacket is giving you some nice structure around that face line. But yeah. I'll be able to find you dresses that you won't need to have a denim jacket on the top of to make you feel comfortable. The dress Thank in you. itself will feel make you comfortable. <laughs> okay, so see the sock? Flip the sock that way, like that, over. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's it. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to give us a bit of a sharper Something. edge. And then put them up rather than into your arm. That's your arm, yeah? So I want them on that. I want them up here. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Can you see can you see that difference straight away? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
and particularly with yourself because when you are rounded on the shoulder and we've got a bit of more of a rounded arm it's going to make your arms look bigger where yeah. that will give you structure straight away on your shoulder yeah already that feels 100 percent better yeah okay so for me what's happening here is it is broadening you across there yeah. which is probably the element that you like because you're getting a stronger yeah. look up there but now your bust is starting up here for me just get your finger and just pull that neckline down okay yes I see as that. In, just start to show a bit more flesh there yeah it looks balanced yeah and um, and what I would say there is the cap the sli- the the caps on that sleeve are making your arms look a little bigger than they on are. The, yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. So okay. what you want to try and do in your t-shirts is have a bit of an extra gap around your t-shirt arm, because okay. then your arm underneath it will look slimmer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> not 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 quite that extreme, but <laughs> <laughs> on okay. those lines. On those yeah. lines. Okay. okay. I'm just okay. So let's go back to that t shirt that you did have on just a second ago because that was a nice yeah. fitting t shirt on you. Have Later. you got a stripey? Have you got a stripey top? Like quite, I have. Okay. I don't mind that at the moment. Now let's pull your white t shirt out at the bottom. Oh, oh, we so, that oh bit okay. Yeah. You got like a little white vest top, maybe you could put on. In fact, have you got an oversized, um, sort of like a bit baggier top rather than that stripy one, just slightly baggier? Like if that was longer, like it was originally. You see the front of that top, yeah, uh, where the band is. Can you just tuck that up for me a second? Um, so no, sorry, the white, the white one is out. The yeah. the best white vest top is out, and then just take yeah. a few steps back if you don't mind, just so I can see yeah. what's happening, and then. Um, if you do the zip up on the side of the jumpers, yeah, and then just see the white rim on the jumper now, just tuck yeah. that under so I can't see it. I yeah. just want to see what's happening to that lovely waist. Well, then I'm getting that fupa. Yes, yeah, so you have to be, yeah, so that's, but that's fine. That's more to do with the jeans and everything and the fact that it's a white plain top if we had a striped my, top yeah on there. um but what my bum to... looks so deep in that <laughs> let's, let's have a look move your hand just move oh because it's come yeah so the jumper <laughs> the jumper on top is still too tight you see that's what's yeah. happening so have you got a slightly bigger jumper than that so I'd say that that top is probably too small now so that yeah, maybe it needs to go wants to go in the um no pile Okay, so yeah, pull up the sleeves, pull your necklace out. First thing we're going to do is get some shoulder pads in there before we do anything else. Right now at the front, yeah. so um, if you can see me at the moment, so you you've kind of got that on that going on at yeah. the moment. What's yeah. going to happen with you? Watch my waist. So at the moment, yeah. I'm looking quite block like. As soon as you start doing that, look how my waist has just appeared there, and as yeah. I go higher and higher. There's going yeah. to be a sweet spot with you where that hangs down so it covers what you don't want to see. Yes. But that we can still see it at the side. Can you see that with me? Yeah. I think what's can happening like is that? the white, I think the white top is pulled down too far at the moment. That's it. Okay. Yeah. And I also think when we get you into more of a straight leg jean rather than yeah, the skinny, I think that's going to be. It's going to be a lot better. Now, I want you to tuck the hem of that feel-good jumper under. Oh, yeah. That, oh, my God. That's 100% better. Yeah. And all you need is safety pins. Okay. <laughs> pin it. Yeah. And all you do is you pin it at the side here. like So if you've got a good waistband and you can just pin it there in the middle like that, perfect. Yeah. But often... You know, you'd see the pin, but you might not with that jumper. So if you're going to see the pin, you do it at the side here, and then it naturally just falls down like that. And then you get oh. to see this lovely shape there that you've got oh, going Oh, my goodness, on. that's so much better, isn't it? So we can do a couple of things. Once we sort of find a combination that is starting to feel good, you can just take a quick snap using your phone or whatever. So you've got a bit of a diary. This is something I bought, which I really like. It's just gap. but And I don't know whether or not actually it's probably t it's too short. But that it's probably a little bit too short. It needs to be a bit longer, doesn't it? But no, that... no, I don't think so. Get it, get yourself in front of a mirror now, 
and yeah. have a look, play around with the different lengths of the grey jumper with the jacket on and you will see the more yeah. layered structures you see the smaller yeah yeah i can see that and, yeah i and like that, that jacket looks really lovely on you now is you have you got like a bright pink star scarf or a animal print a lovely yeah. vibrant personality in there so let's see if we can start to pull something out that's oh, all that looks really nice yeah oh yeah. melissa it's like you know when you know you've got all the ingredients but you just can't bake the cake yeah <laughs> that's me Jen, that's literally that's me I could do it in the I could do it in the styling room I can't do it in the kitchen <laughs> another level and it's just the it's the color pop which I love yes yeah exactly I don't want to see you all in black that's such, such a waste and so, you would put that over the neck yes over the neckline yeah okay just to create okay. that other layer for you that other level of interest but at no point now am I looking at your tummy no or your, or your bottom or your oh, my thigh. ankles oh wow okay oh yeah okay. because I'm seeing that lovely arch of your bottom because you've got such a juicy lovely bottom it yeah. does create a bit of a shelf sometimes yeah yeah and what we don't want to do is see that shelf it sticks out and then we come back in again we almost yes. want to cut that shelf in half a little bit so there's more of a gradual line and that's exactly what all of that is doing okay what's doing it is it the what is the white adding to that or no it, well from, from behind, not it's that? simply the jacket is, is doing it because it's at the right length for you so you don't want it finishing like that you want it just a bit longer yeah you see that jumper okay. is, that jumper is you can see the straight line that that jumper's created. Well, as soon as yes. that jumper's too tight, yeah, it's going to create yeah. that line. Okay, and I just thought that was my shape. I didn't realise that was just no. dressing it. No, it's the okay. way you're, yeah, you've got a lovely shape. So what I would encourage you to do, if I share my screen with you now, why I've gone on this website is because um, they're using curvier girls, okay? Yes. So you can get a genuine feel for what you might look like, okay? Yeah. So that is what we call a slim mom jean. So it's not coming in really tight at the knee and following no. your curve of your calf. It's giving a lot straighter a look. And look at that beautiful waist there. Yes. You've yes. got that figure right there would you put like undergarments something to hold that that booper so if i was going out with my girlfriends for a night out and i wanted to feel good then yes of course yeah. i would but i don't want to dress you like that on a day-to-day -day basis yeah we, we can find you something that it's like so easily done to hold you in a little bit but it's okay. just not practical for you sitting at a computer or walking around your class so I, we can't Ooh. rely on that all right so let's have a look what else we have got then i really want to see some sort of wider leg trouser on you have you got oh actually hang on a second i have got something it's in the laundry bar so we're going to be that's digging okay. deep. That's okay. Okay, so we want a bit of that ankle showing rather than pulling them down really low. Okay. Okay, and now have you got like a have you got like a long coat, like a long wool coat, or? Well, I've got this is the coat that I wear. Yeah, so it's not quite for the for the look I'm trying to get. Have you got just a? Have you got a white? I've got a long cardi. Yeah, long cardi. Long cardi. We'll try a few mm. of these different things on and I'll I'll get it to the right shape for you because I don't want to over bulk your shape. Perfect. It's much longer. Yes, that's the length I'm looking for. Can you see the difference? Yeah. There? Yeah. Okay. And then let's get those shoulder pads in. Oh, the other thing we could do is we could grab that scarf again, just sort of bring in the pink from the trainers and the pink from the scarf together. That could look quite nice. That is how you do modern <laughs> casual. <laughs> if I do say so myself. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay. Oh, I yeah. love that. So long, longer length, comfy, yeah. really nice. Oh my God, I can't believe it's my stuff. So then how do I, if I was going out to look for scarves, if I wanted some variation in that, how do I pick the... So I would think about the shoes or the bag you wanted to pull together. Okay. So there we've used the pink in the trainers just to pull it in, but we could yeah. have gone green for the, uh, for the joggers. So oh. if you go, yeah. So if you go for a navy jogging pant, for example, yeah. I would then that. probably make sure I'd got one other item that was in navy 
or had some navy on it. So we teach the, the way in which we teach it in the school is everyone needs a friend, which means yeah. two items of the same color, color. at any one time. Okay. Now it's traditionally it's quite an old fashioned way of styling. Yeah. But more than the average person 90 percent of the population if they follow that they'll always look styled and together wow okay so you, and does it have to be as big does it think... have to be it could it could it be like a little bit of green and an earring oh yeah totally like if, yeah so if I was wearing a red red <clears throat> I had a red bag and I had red um nail varnish on brilliant yeah or red lipstick yeah it has to be the smallest amount of something okay. just, you know you don't have to go cerise pink shoes and cerise pink handbag and they've got to match they're all tonal yeah. it's just that little pop of the same color somewhere and it will just okay. draw the outfit together really really nicely oh hello doggy you <laughs> <laughs> just emerged from under all of this stuff See, that's a lovely pop of color on you yeah okay yeah I love, with your hair up like that i can see a stronger shoulder and maybe a pinker lip as well, I could do. <laughs> These yeah. were the trousers I bought, but they were too tight at the top. Okay, I, I just watched you do something, and I want to, I want, I, I want you to have a look at this in the mirror. Okay, so <laughs> at the moment, no, I don't want to yeah. put any of that on at the moment because pull your white top down for a second, just longer. Okay, go and look in the mirror. Yeah, and then start to hire that that top up yeah and I actually started to see this beautiful curve keep going higher higher on the top higher keep going keep going <laughs> and I just saw this beautiful shape materialize yes yeah I can see that can oh, you see yeah that? yes I can yeah there we go absolutely oh my goodness cracking hourglass figure <laughs> I feel like I've been ex excavated. <laughs> <laughs> you look okay. awesome. I feel so much better. Yeah. It makes me want to not walk past the quality street at my mother-in-law's um, ageing development and plunge my hands in. I want to just go, no, I'm not going yeah. anywhere near them. Yes, because um, it, it, it does set you off on a, um, like when that cycle is broken, you feel more confident. I, know. I can do this. I want to look so, even better. Now, the key is here, we always need to bring it back to reality. So one, yeah. you've got a heel on that's it? too high for you to walk in. So yeah. then we have to find something that you can walk in that gives you a heel. So we could swap this out for a platform um, converse, for example. Yeah. But only if the jeans then come at the right level. So yeah. I'll show you what I I do. Okay, I haven't got the exact items here, but just mm. to just to give you an idea. So, um, I've got the platform converse like you've got, which yeah. is a lot higher platform than that. But what I make sure I do is that my platform on my trainer is the same as my little mini heel boot, yeah, and the same as my going out shoe. Okay, oh, so you've got the right length jean, yeah. That's okay. the key to it. I mean, I cannot tell you how liberating this feels. Oh, it's good. Amazing. So you could oh, just good. put like a nice blazer on now with those jeans. That would look nice. Or <laughs> this is too baggy and big because I used to wear. I like the khaki green on you. That's going to make yeah, it. Yeah, green's uh, good. Isn't it? But I think that probably now this is like too. That. No, I like that. Boxy. I'm yeah. loving that together with the trainers. Okay. You look crap in. Okay. Thanks. If you grab your cream coat now, your H&M long cream coat, yeah. but you, you're you going to make the shirt be the... Uh, I want you to be able to see the shirt, basically. So you might be getting the collar and sticking the collar outside of the coat. Now, this is funny because with your wide leg jeans on, and yes. the long coat, we've got too much volume right at your feet area. Okay. So, and it's making your legs look uh, shorter rather than longer. So what we're going to do on this one is tuck in your white top underneath. So if you look in the mirror now, that's oh. it. That's 
So when you had that top out, like pull it out so you can see, yeah. your legs look too short and bunched together. So yeah. in this case, we needed that top right in to create a longer length. I love that little shortness. Yeah. And that's going to make your waist look tiny as well. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That is such a hack. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay. Okay. Oh, that looks really pretty from behind. I can't see it at the front yet. Oh, I love that. Yes, that's lovely on you. Okay. Beautiful. Now, you could still wear a white little top hanging down at the front there if you wanted on that. Oh, okay. Yeah, your white vest top. You don't need to. And what you could even do is put a really nice belt in there and centralise belts. Yeah. Ever. All I would say so to would... you is start with the shoulders. There's yeah. your first rule, broaden the shoulders. Your second rule is V-neck, low round neck. Your third rule is don't upset the balance after that. So once I've done that and that on you. Shoulders, V-neck. Sh shoulders, V-neck or round neck. Yeah. Then your rule is don't upset the balance. So if you have got um, a really skinny pair of trousers on, and you've got a big top on top, you're going to upset the balance. So whatever you do up the top, you've got to do at the bottom. So if you've got wide leg trousers on, on the bottom, I want to show off your thin waist, but then I want it bigger on top. Okay. So you go wide leg trousers and tight tank top. You're going to look like a pear shape. But if you balance it out on the top and then bring in the waist, you're going to always look like you've got a lovely hourglass figure. Okay, so but shapes of bottoms would be bootleg. Is so this bootleg is working well on you? So would a mum, I think either a mum ankle grazer or a straight leg ankle okay. grazer. So the so the how we deal with with color is there is a hundred percent colors that are going to suit you better than others. I suit the bright pink, for example. So I put that on today to brighten myself up a little bit because I was here cold. Uh, so that I, I suit that. But what happens is when you go to a color me beautiful type person and they give you five or six swatches and you can definitely see that when you put the teal to your face, your face is going to light up. But then when we take those swatches into the real world and we go, right, I've got to only wear tops in teal and bright pink. You end up with a wardrobe full of these sort of quite random colors that don't mix and match together. So I always have people come to me and I have to sort it out from that point. So what I say is let's go neutral on the basis. So let's find what's suiting us. So the navies, the beiges, the creams, the tan colours, things like that. Mm -hmm. Then let's find the one or two accent colours that really suit you, that make you pop. That red made you pop. The bright pink is going to make you pop. And let's, once that is sorted, we'll insert pieces in, but we'll do it with more frivolous items. So we'll do it with the beanie or the scarf or the fun pair of inexpensive trousers. Mm. Because when next season comes and bright pink is no longer in and you want the emerald green instead, it's fairly inexpensive to slot in that emerald green. That's the better way of doing it for mm -hmm. longevity in your wardrobe. Um, I think you would look really, really nice. Oh, yes, yes. Like jewel colours. Yeah. yeah, jewel colours. Yeah, I love that. They would look really, really lovely. But And then I would mix the jewel colours in with like, I'd go a bit more edgy with it. So I would go maybe like a khaki green with it, like, Yes. So I'd go yeah. all of those sort of colours together love, with for love you. It. Yeah, I really yeah, rather than your tradition. Like your navy is gonna look nice, but yeah, yeah that's so good. You, you could wear something like that. I'd been looking at these boiler suits to be able to find because I just wear that like a long smock thing with like leggings underneath. Be nice. That would be another nice thing to look for is ways to dress. And also going out, I guess I've got the jeans and top bit look. Well, and then I just bit nailed as well, haven't I? So yeah. I've got options. I I don't I, I, you don't need to like for me personally, I don't wear jeans very often at all. I'm always in something alternative, and that alternative is usually something really comfy. 
And so I think I can get you down that way. I don't think you'll have any restrictions in what you actually can wear at all. Like, I, you know, let, let me let me see about it. We'll get you in. I'll get you a jumpsuit. I'll get you a nice dress. I'll get you all things that you thought you couldn't wear. OK, yeah. and we'll record it and we'll see how it goes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, good. I'm really pleased. So that's it for today's video. I'm sorry if it jumped around a little bit. The session was two hours long and I had to get it into roughly sort of 30 minutes so that it was watchable on YouTube. Please do let me know whether you like seeing that sort of content and obviously get in touch if you would like a styling session yourself. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week with Claire. Claire and I are going to do a work, wear, stroke, smart, casual video. So she's a size 14, I'm a size 8 to 10. So you'll get to see the clothes on both of us. So I hope you enjoy that too. And if you could hit that subscribe button, I'd be very grateful. Thank you very much. Bye bye.